Hey y'all, this is my entry for the hashtag collards and cabbage 2024 challenge hosted by the New Orleans Gardener. Back to our roots and growing out the box. We are all submitting our entries to start the challenge today on September the 21st. All you have to do is select uh, your choice of collards and your choice of cabbage, but it has to be a heading cabbage. Since I didn't have that, I had to go out and get some seeds. And since I decided to do seeds for the cabbage, I'm doing seeds for the collards as well, even though I do have some that I started. But for this challenge, I'm going to go with these seeds, which I'm gonna drop right now. Starting with the Georgia collards. And lots of seeds in there. So I'm gonna try to space these out as best I can in here because I don't want to have to thin it too much. I want to I want it to be easy to thin it. I want to I don't want to lose any plants. And I could share these with friends if they're interested. I'm always trying to convince others to start gardening although i have several friends who do garden and been gardening longer than i have all right i don't know how many that was but it was a lot of them and this was i think the only pack of cabbage seeds that were at the lows that i went to i went to a few stores but anyway um, one of them um, i think it was tractor supply which was the first time i've ever been to one of those and they didn't have any seeds, any plants, but anyway, that was weird to me, but they said they're gonna get them later this month. But anyway, I digress, back on track, because I want this to be just a minute long. I'm already at two minutes. But anyway, this is the cabbage I selected. It's supposed to be ready for harvest within 71 days, although it's gonna take a few days to germinate. And with the collards, it said, it says 60 to 80 days. And the last time, it only took a few days for these to, for mine to uh, germinate for the other other seedlings I already have. So anyway, I'm gonna drop these cabbage. So anyway, I'm expecting these to be ready by Thanksgiving. And if not, then Christmas, or just for the holiday season in general. <laughs> Let's see. Um, all right, so I got a bunch of them that time. I used a similar amount, and I'm just gonna try to space them out in here the same way as you can see these seeds look very similar and i have a bunch of these that have spilled so i have like surprise plants eventually because i'll see i'll plant them eventually someday all right so i'm just going to cover these with a little bit of soil they're supposed to be well per the package about half a buried half an inch Although in nature, I mean, there's no ruler. Nobody's pulling out a ruler when they fall off, you know, in, in the wild, in, <laughs> in nature. So I'm not, I'm not a real stickler to that, but since I have the soil, I was trying to get it a good ratio, especially because I'm using these small containers as well. But anyway, let me just finish covering this. I could have got these chunks out, but I didn't. Anyway, I'm going to also water these a little bit because the soil is not moist at all. It's not dry, dry either. But what I'll do is I'll just water them a little bit. I'm not trying to drown them. And since I'm gonna close these com these containers, it's gonna be like a humidifying dome. So it doesn't have to be super wet. It's all gonna be wet <laughs> very quickly. All right, that's my entry. And hopefully I'll have germination within the week. And I'll, I'll include that in my update. The next update is in October. And then a final update in, in November. The November update is 11:23, which is a Saturday. 
and that's the Saturday before Thanksgiving. And the end, the winners are announced on Sunday, the 24th of November. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. And good luck, everyone. All right, there are cash prizes, just FYI. I'm not sure exactly what the, they are broken down. There are going to be three winners, and the total cash prize is $500. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching.